Kentucky Wildcats. And forward, a 6'9 senior from Louisville, Kentucky, number 34, Scott Padgett. And forward, a 6'10 junior from Toronto, Canada, number 42, Jamal McLaurin. Center, a 16 sophomore from Worcester, Massachusetts. Number 33, Michael Bradley. And it's guard, a 6'3 sophomore from Deerfield, Illinois. Number 22, Ryan Hogan. And it's guard, a 6'2 senior from Boston, Massachusetts. Number 5, Wayne Turner. And the coaching staff for the Cats. Administrative assistant, Simeon Mars. Strength coach, Tom Boyd. Assistant coaches, Mike Sutton, Sean Finney, George Felton, and the head coach, Orlando Smith. There are your two carnival starting lineups for tonight. Kentucky against Tennessee State. We'll get it started right after this. In Tennessee State meeting for only the second time. The only other meeting was in the NCAA in St. Petersburg a few years ago, 1994, when the Cats won 83 to 70. So it's Ryan Hogan, Jamal McGlore stepping into the starting lineup for Tubby Smith's team as Kashima Evans and Tayshawn Prince feeling the effects of the stomach flu. And right off the opening tip, his foot was on the line, so the ball will go to the Wildcats, and Kentucky will take over here right at the start. Tubby's decided to go big, playing both Jamal McGlure and Michael Bradley. That's a lineup we haven't seen this year. Scott Padgett guarded by Corey Williams. Back out it comes, and Wayne Turner drives left side of the lane, puts up the short jumper, which goes around and in, and he was fouled. Good job by, the, uh, by Wayne Turner. He had Brian Williams on him, who size-wise, they're about the same. And this is a young man that transferred from the University of Oregon, so he's got some Pac-10 experience. But Wayne Turner took him to the rack and going for the three-point play. So you see the stats on Wayne coming in, averaging 11.2 per ball game and a chance to convert a three-pointer right here. 201 career steals for Wayne Turner. He is tied with Tony Dell, and he can set the all-time record here tonight. And now we've got a whistle as Turner converts the three-point play. The officials tonight are Don Rutledge, Ted Hill. And Tubby Smith raising a question from the bench. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it was about the possession era. They weren't sure who had possession, and they're going to give it to Tennessee State, even though Brian Williams stepped out of bounds after he had possession. Interesting right. call by Rutledge. All right, the Tigers have it for the first time. They are 4-4 four and four on the season. Have played one other Southeastern Conference team. That was the Tennessee Vols. Opened up against the Vols and lost 91 to 69 and a five second call. So the Tigers turn it over here for the second time and we have yet to play a minute. Well, Frankie Allen told me today at shoot around. This is a much bigger team than they've had in the past. And one of the things that hurts them is quickness. And you saw it right there as Kentucky was able to shut the wings down. Here's Scott Padgett with a lob to Michael Bradley. And the Cats are up to a five nothing lead. Oh, another quick turnover right there. Corey Williams stepping on the out-of-bounds line. And Tennessee State, the one thing they can't do is come into Rupp Arena and turn the basketball over. Big crowd here in Rupp tonight. Look around, you see a few empty seats, but not many. And as usual, they are packed all the way to the Raptors. Into the lane to McGlure. Missed the hook and the rebound pulled down by Jason Johnson. And to bring it up now comes Brian Williams, the senior out of Detroit. Who, as you said, Martin, played out at the University of Oregon back when Jerry Green was there. Here's a shot by Jamie Roberts, comes up short. He's their leading scorer, averaging 20 per game. Wayne Turner coming back the other way. Five to nothing, Cats. And the foul committed. It goes on Brian Williams, and very quickly, Martin, he has picked up a couple here. We've not yet played two minutes. Boy, that really hurts them, and right now, Tennessee State, that was their first shot. They got off. They had three straight turnovers. Now you've got your point guard, Brian Williams, with two quick fouls. He's got to sit on the bench, not what Frankie Allen wanted to start this ball game. And Leon Murray, a junior out of Cincinnati, the fellow who quarterbacked the TSU football team to the OVC championship in a 1AA playoff appearance, has come on in. 
He's a 205, 6'3", 205 junior. And off the rebound, they try to get a run out down court. Jamie Roberts does a nice job to save it into Bankston and then to Williams, who misses. Well, he missed an easy one there. Corey Williams couldn't connect. Ryan Hogan missing at the other end. And the Tigers rebound as Johnson comes away with it. Well, that's where Kentucky can hit three-pointers, though, is in transition. We haven't seen much transition the last two games, but right there, Ryan Hogan did a great job pull up, just didn't need to fall. Here's Bankston against McGlure. Kind of forced it up. Didn't hit anything. Wayne Turner on the run all the way to the paint. And he's fouled driving into the lane. Now this one will go on Bankston. Julian Bankston, number one on the big guy out of Hendersonville, Tennessee. And it's the third on Tennessee State as a team. Hogan inbounding it, comes into McGlure. And the Cats work it outside. Here's Scott Padgett guarded by Corey Williams. Hogan down to the baseline, off underneath, trying to get it to Bradley, out of bounds. It'll still belong to the Cats. Well, right now you can tell that these five players have not played a lot of minutes together because they're just not in sync, not in flow right now. But that'll come as the game progresses and as Tubby Smith gets more practice time. Hogan will have to try and run it down here. Now that ball was tipped. Touched by Tennessee State, so there is no over and back ball. Padgett wide open. McGlure, yes, and Jamal McGlure has his first point of the night. Boy, Frankie Allen did not agree with that call right there. He didn't feel like the ball was tipped, and he let the officials know it, but Jamal McGlure, well, that's what he gives you, is going to the offensive glass. Nice put back by the big man. A 7-0 Kentucky lead as we have played just over three minutes here in Lexington. Bankston, double team, lost the handle, tried to get it away. He was on the baseline. So another turnover, and that's the fourth committed by the Tigers here early in this game. Kentucky has yet to commit a turnover. Checking into the game is Ralph Martin now for the Tigers, a 6'8", 265-pound sophomore out of Atlanta, and Bankston will sit down. Martin, a player who was academically ineligible last season, very physically imposing. He's got all of that 265 on it. Well, oh, he really does. He loves to dunk the ball right there. You saw Jamie, uh, excuse me, Jason Johnson just get caught on the backside. Michael Bradley does a great job of getting guys on his hip, sealing them, and then going to the basket. Now this foul goes on Johnson. That's number one on Jason Johnson. And four now on Tennessee State as Michael Bradley steps up to the free throw line. Michael has started all 13 games for Tubby Smith. They had the big game against Georgia Tech, 16.7 boards. But that's been his Achilles heels. He's only shooting 42% from the free throw line. As much as he's going to get fouled, he has got to improve on that mark. Well, he makes one of two. As a team, the Wildcats coming in tonight shooting 62.6% .6 of the line. 8-0 now. And the Tigers have numbers, and Corey Williams converts at the other end. So the first points of the night scored by the junior out of New Orleans, a junior college transfer from Imperial Valley Community College out of the West Coast. He can't get it. Bradley gets the easy one on the putback. Boy, that's right there is just having two bigger guys in there. Michael Bradley and Jamal McGlure playing volleyball with it, tipping it to each other. Nice lay in by Michael. Bradley, the leading scorer in the game with five, and a 10-2 Kentucky lead. Leon Murray missing, and turn of the rebound, lost the handle. Tigers get it back off underneath, and almost missing the dunk was Ralph Martin, but it stayed in the hoop. <laughs> Big fellow get a little grief from his teammates. I watched him in shoot around today, and he can throw him down. He was throwing everything down, but barely squeaked that one in. Wide open, Padgett. Missed the three, tip up, and it goes up off the top of the backboard. Bradley puts it back up, and it went over the other side. And it'll go to Tennessee State. Foul is called on McGlure. That'll be number one on Jamal McGlure and number one on the Cats as a team. 15-23 left to go. First half here at Rupp. And Kentucky leads it by six, 10-4.
Scott Padgett doing a good job keeping his head up. Michael Bradley on the little back cut. Gets the easy dunk, and the big fella from Massachusetts throws it down. And here's a run out. Jamie Roberts. And it's blocked by Padgett. Oh, my. Great hustle right there by Scott. But Jamie Rogers did not do a good job of using the rim to protect himself. Let's get another look at this as Padgett is trailing Roberts here. Great block right here, but look, he takes it up. Now, if he uses the, actually that ball hit off the rim first, but if he uses the rim to protect himself, takes it to the other side, he's got an easy layup. Saul Smith coming up short with a shot. Smith on the floor for the Wildcats now, along with Ryan Hogan, Michael Bradley, Scott Padgett, and Jamal Magalore. That's the lineup that Tubby Smith has in there. Wayne Turner getting a rest. Shot off the baseline is good. Jason Johnson has his first two of the night. He's averaging 11 per game. And the Tigers of Tennessee State have pulled within four. It's 10-6. Well, this is a good Tennessee State team. They're picked second in the OVC, so this is not a fluke. Bradley. McGlore couldn't get the rebound, and it's cleared off by the Tigers. And down court, here's Roberts again. This time, he lays it in, and he has his first two of the game. And he brings the Tigers back within two at 10 days. Well, you see the crowd getting excited. Hashimu Evans comes off the bench, and he's pretty weak. He's had a stomach virus and hadn't gotten a lot of practice time, but may have gotten the rest that he needed. Both Hashimu and Tayshawn Prince down with the virus. As Ryan Hogan fakes, lost the handle. Taken away here by Leon Murray, and he's fouled going in, missed the shot. Foul will go on Saul Smith, but the Tigers here over the last minute have fought their way right back into this game. Well, all of a sudden, they think they can play with Kentucky. They're starting to relax again. As you'll remember, they started off with three quick turnovers. Since that point, they've only got one additional turnover. They've cut the lead to, or cut the, where they're only down by two. Here's Leon Murray now, who, as we pointed out earlier, joined the team after quarterbacking TSU to the OVC title. He has his first points. His father, Leon, played football at UK and was also a baseball player in the Orioles organization. Here comes Desmond Allison in along with Hishimu Evans. Ryan Hogan and Jamal McCoy. Rebound pulled down by Desmond Allison. 10-9. Kentucky a one-point lead. Wildcats came out and scored the first eight in this one. The Tennessee State has battled back. Bradley back to Padgett. He's open. He's got it. Three-pointer for Scott Padgett. Good job right there in the half-court set. Kentucky very patient. Worked the ball around the perimeter. Scott Padgett did a great job of stepping up and nailing the three. The first for Kentucky tonight. Stretches the lead out to four. As Roberts has it here, guarded by Desmond Allison. You're going to have to keep right on him because that fella can shoot it. Inside, spinning around and missing is Ralph Martin. And the Wildcats quickly going the other way. Padgett faking, won't put it up, goes inside, now to Bradley. Off the glass, wouldn't go, but he draws the foul. Good job right there, though, in the secondary break. They get the ball to the wing, and Scott Padgett is showing some real maturity and patience tonight. You know, what they've been doing the last couple games is they've been passing the ball too quick or putting it on the floor. He does a good job of waiting for Michael Bradley to establish post position. Nice dish, and now he's going to the line to shoot two. Foul going on Ralph Martin. And now five on Tennessee State as a team here as we have reached, just about reached the 13 minute mark as you look at Frankie Allen across the way in his eighth season at TSU. 100 wins, 107 losses coming in here tonight. Well, Michael Bradley's now made two of three at the line. And he'll have another coming. Leading scorer in the game right now is six points. Make it seven. Good time to press Tennessee State with their point guard, Brian Williams, sitting on the bench with two fouls. Saul Smith making the effort to go after it. And the Tigers now will inbound here from the near side as Leon Murray will try to trigger it in. 
Don Rutledge is going to get Hashimu Evans with a hold on Jamie Roberts away from the basketball. And, well, that's something you hate to see is fouls without any time running off the clock. So charge a foul to Hashimu Evans, his first of the game. Tigers in backward as Corey Williams now brings it over against Desmond Allison. Boy, Corey Williams got lucky right there. You don't want to pick the dribble up right when you cross half court. So this is Jamie Roberts, Hashimu Evans guarding him. And here on the near side now, Corey Williams comes up short. Evans the rebound, outlet pass to Allison. And it's blocked. The 6'7 junior out of New Orleans. Good job by Corey Williams right there. He shoots the three a little bit short, but he does a good job of hustling back on defense. Desmond can't get him off of him, and boom. Here comes Corey Williams from out of No, this young man didn't even play high school basketball. That's amazing. And he was honorable mention All-American at Imperial Valley Community College out in California. Evans. That looks like that was partially blocked. See, that's that impatient, though. Hashimu's rushing his offensive game a little bit. Right now, he needs to just be patient, let the offense come to him. Leon Murray dishing it back out. Jason Johnson with it now. Amy Roberts going around the screen, trying to find an opening. Johnson off the baseline, hit the side of the backboard. But the Tigers rebound. And the Murray shot is rebounded by the Cats. Evans all the way to the baseline and going to get Hashima with a foul. Well, oh, they are. And that, you know, once again, that, that, that's rushing your offense. Instead of letting the offense come to him, he tried to take on three Tennessee State players. Hashima Evans picks up his second. The 11.44 left to go first half. And Kentucky leads it by six, 15-9. Stars right there. And Jules Kamara, the freshman out of Dakar, Senegal, checking into the lineup for Tubby Smith. Wayne Turner back on the floor. It's Kamara, Turner, Saul Smith, Jamal McGlore, and Desmond Allison. And the shooting has been nothing to shout about here in the early going. Both teams right at 31%. Kentucky only one for six from behind the three-point line, and they really need to try to establish an inside game tonight. Ball tipped away out of bounds. It'll still belong to the Tigers. Tennessee State coming in here tonight has already played a couple of OVC games. A victory over Eastern Illinois, 67-59. A loss to Southeast Missouri State, 70-49. Corey Williams came up a little bit short. The tip no good. And Kamara fighting for the rebound, and he gets it off to Saul Smith. Kentucky leading by six. Inside of McGlure, tipped away, nearly stolen by Bankston, and now the Tigers come up with it. Jamal sometimes gets so intent on making body contact that he loses focus on where the ball is. That was a great example. Yeah, and you can see the frustration on the face of Tubby Smith on the Wildcat bench. Six-point Wildcat lead, tipped away again. It'll still belong to TSU. Ten minutes, 52 seconds left to go. First half here at Rupp Arena. Final game of 1998 for the Wildcats. Conference play begins this weekend. As the Florida Gators come in. Roberts in the lane. They found him with a pass, and he put it in. His second field goal, he's got four. Well, great sideline out of bounds right there. You've got to know where Jamie Roberts is at all time. He's got such explosive range. Great jump shooter. McGlure working into the lane. The hook. Off the back of the rim of the tip goes, and it was Jules Kamara. Well, looks like right now you're going to have an injury. I tell you what, he, Corey Williams, really came down hard on his hip, and Frankie Wh Allen cannot afford to lose either he or Jamie Roberts, who looked like he got hurt after the Hashibu Evans charge. I think he's all right as he comes into front court now, and this is Leon Murray with it. Gets the ball away to Corey Williams. Got it by Allison. Coming back out with it now. Murray. Shot clock goes down to 13 seconds. Ralph Martin. McGlore shooting over McGlore, but way off target. And Allison, a good rebound. Well, it really was. Kentucky is so good in the half court defense. Kamara, a little turnaround jumper, rim the bucket. And Bankston takes the board for TSU. 17 to 11, six point Kentucky lead as we go into the 10 minute mark. Now at Rupp. Saul 
Al Smith just hounding Murray there, and Kamara trying to block the shot of Bankston, but he couldn't quite do it. So Bankston gets his second field goal. Beg your pardon, his first field goal of the night. That's his first two. Well, sometimes when you can jump as quick and as well as Jules Kamara, you rely on that too much. And he got caught on the top side of Bankston right there, and he got so he paid for it. And again, the Tigers have pulled back within four. Turner faking and driving and drawing the foul as he goes into the lane. It'll go on Corey Williams. That'll be his first. See, Kentucky on the offensive end of the floor has really got to utilize their quickness. They're much quicker than most teams they play. They've got to look to take the ball to the basket like Wayne did, kick to the perimeter, shoot the three, or duck it in for the inside game. And you know, right now, they're, they're not really cutting real hard. I know Tubby Smith, and you can hear George Felton screaming on the sideline as well, is, is yelling at them to get more aggressive on the offensive end. Wayne Turner back at the line for the second time tonight. And he now has four points. Wayne with a free throw percentage of 68% uh, coming in here tonight. So he has worked to improve that. Could become the first cat to top 1,000 points, 300 rebounds, 400 assists, and 200 steals in his career. And somebody got into the lane too soon. And they're going to call a double violation, and then they'll go to the possession era, and the ball will be rewarded to Tennessee State. Well, the Tigers get it on the possession. See, I still disagree with the possession error being to Tennessee State. At the beginning of the game, they won the opening tip, but stepped on the out-of-bounds line. The possession error should have been to Kentucky. Tigers trailing by five, 18-13. Leon Murray all the way inside, threw it off the glass, couldn't get it. And putting it back up was Johnson. That wouldn't go. And let's see who's on the baseline now. Turner lost it out of bounds. That'll still be TSU ball. Kentucky right now is not doing a good job of blocking out on the defensive boards. Johnson going back to Corey Williams, right back to Johnson. And Robert shot is blocked by Turner. Bankston's got it now, off to Johnson. He has it stripped away and stolen. Saul Smith coming in the other direction. Off in the lane, tipped away. Finally controlled by Smith, and he missed the shot. Bradley follows. Give it to Michael Bradley. Well, Corey Williams is down. He got hit in the face, but really a poor, poor execution on the fast break right there by Kentucky. No spacing. Every All three players were inside the foul line. Well, we hope you'll join us for our next telecast. It will come your way January 23rd. The Cats in SEC action against Mississippi State. You can see it all on a delayed basis from here at Rupp Arena. Catch all the big blue action here on the UK Basketball Television Network. That's January 23rd. Well, it's a seven-point Wildcat lead. Michael Bradley now has piled up nine points here in the first half. Tennessee State has hung tough over the first 12 minutes. Williams going to the lane. Bankston trying to put on a move and stolen away by Turner. Turner off to Tayshawn Prince, who has just checked in, and he slams it. Well, that'll get you healthy in a hurry right there. Tayshawn Prince getting the easy deuce. Tayshawn Prince bothered by the stomach flu, but checking in for the first time here tonight. And we're going to see Jamal McGlure get back into the game in the next opportunity. Timeout Tennessee State as Kentucky now is built a nine point lead at 22 to 13. And as you look at Donna Smith up there in the stands, Martin, we've got 737 left to go first half. I tell you what, that is great half court defense, and that's what this team is known for. Last year, they held teams to 38.4% field goal percentage. This year, they're at 38.3. That's incredible half court defense. When they get the offensive end going, this is going to be a team to reckon with come March. Well, over the first 50, Tubby Smith had the best percentage of any Wildcat coach. That's something. 45 and 5 through the first 50 games. <laughs> Adolph Ruppett, 43 and 7. Eddie Sutton was 41 and 9. Of course, Rick Pitino had that 500 year the first season coming in while the Wildcats were under probation. But I tell you, an amazing accomplishment. And some contacts underneath. 
And it'll go against Tennessee State as the foul is picked up by Jason Johnson. Good job right there, Tayshawn Prince picking up the charge. Number two on Jason Johnson. We've got a timeout on the floor with 7.26 remaining first half. And Kentucky's now built into a nine-point lead. To take off on one of their runs. All of a sudden, the shooting percentage is creaking up a little bit. Tennessee State's going down a little bit, and they're starting to get some, some pressure defensively and some runouts. Shooting percentages uh, here over the first 12 minutes have not been stellar. Kentucky shooting 35%. Tennessee State, 6 of 21. And that figures out to 29%. Hey, Sean Prince with a three-pointer out of the corner. If Only... Tayson, excuse me, Tayson needs to get a stomach virus all year if he's going to come out and play like this. Only the second three-pointer that we've seen hit in the game. Scott Padgett has the other. And the Wildcats now enjoying their biggest lead at 25-13, 12-point advantage. I mean, like I said, you just get a sense they're going to go on a run here. The defensive end, it's really picked up. Much more aggressive. Look at this. That's just great team defense. Ryan Williams has come back in with those two personal fouls. And he picks up his third right there. So that was costly, Martin. Really was. And here you see Tayshawn Prince setting up. When you give him that much time to set his feet, square his shoulders, you can count it. Now Williams was not in there long. Leon Murray now is back on the court for the Tigers. And Wayne Turner wide open for a moment. Wouldn't take the shot. Hogan will fire it. McGlure battling for the rebound, and he's fouled as he tries to go back up, and I think they'll get this one on Ralph Martin. A good job right there by Jamal McGlure to really fight on the boards. And, you know, you see Ryan Hogan do the one thing that I think he does better than anybody on this team. Come off screens, catch and shoot. Now, that one didn't go down, and it wasn't the prettiest form, but he's got to be more aggressive and look to do that more often. Foul went on Jason Johnson, so I stand corrected there. He picks up his third. So Johnson has three now, and of course, Brian Williams has three, so Frankie Allen's team getting into a little bit of foul trouble here in the first half as McGlure sinks the free throw. They really are, and those are the two guys that you can't afford to lose. Jason Johnson was first team all OV OVC last year, and this is one of their best players and, and probably their best player on the team, and then anytime you lose your starting point guard. Well, Bankston now has checked in in place of Jason Johnson. And we got another foul call. Bad play right there by Wayne Turner, reaching over the back, had no chance of getting the ball. Now he's going to pick up his foul. Turner, that's his first team. Number one on Wayne Turner. And Kentucky now with five team fouls. You see Frankie Allen there looking to the bench like, who am I going to put in? He's running out of players. And a five-second call against the Tigers, so they turn it over now for the next time. You know, defense wins championships, and Kentucky, although they're struggling at the offensive end the last two games, defensively, this is a great, great basketball team. As you see, they've already had Tennessee State commit nine turnovers. Hogan out top, inside McLaur, missed the hook, got the rebound, and he's fouled going back up with it. Looks like they're going to get uh, Bankston on this one. Now they're going to get Roberts on this one. At number one on Jamie Roberts, and now 10 team fouls on Tennessee State. You know, Rob, when Jamal McGlure gets the ball in the post, and he's patient, and he waits, and he pauses, he is a much better offensive player, but he has a tendency to get too quick and try to make a move too quick. Jamal, a 50% free throw shooter. And he's now one for three at the line here tonight. McGlure has four in the game. Kentucky now has a 15-point lead. As Corey Williams is here in backcourt looking for help. And nearly stolen, tipped away by Turner. Roberts recovers, comes down for it, and McGlure banging into the table here just in front of us. And hopefully Jamal McGlure is all right. I'll tell you, he hit this table, and he hit it hard, and he's all right. 
That's the first charge Sam Bowie has gotten in his career right there. <laughs> Trevor Kidd is here. Hogan to the steal and gets the layup. Oh, you got to get a timeout, Frankie. Frankie Allen wants a timeout. Great job right there by the Cats. And there's that run we were talking about. Off the steal, Ryan Hogan with his first points of the game, and Kentucky is really ignited. 5.49 left to go first half, and the Cats lead it now by 17. Certainly feels all right. Hey, what, it looks like he's lost a little weight, but he's, he's playing awfully well. Wildcats have a 17-point lead, 30-13. to 13. Right now they're on a 15-2 run. Over the last four minutes and seven seconds, Tennessee State breaking the pressure. Roberts the shot way short of the mark and losing it out of bound underneath was Ralph Martin. Now, Jamie Roberts is really frustrated that what, what Tubby has done is he's put his point guards. He's either put Wayne Turner or when Saul was in there on Jamie Roberts and they have just really shut him down with their quickness and their strength. Into the lane, Padgett got three and put it off the glass. Great set play right there, a little screen away, and you end up hitting the guy who makes the screen. Nice job right there. Padgett now has five, and another steal. This one by Prince, and he'll go all the way. Oh, he missed the dunk. Okay, and so maybe he is a little sick. Leon Murray rebounds. Didn't quite get up far enough on that one. See Tayshawn become more aggressive. And Roberts is driving as Jamal McGlure hammers the ball back, but we had the foul called long before that on Wayne Turner. Turner picks up his second. Here's Saul Smith checking back into the game now in place of Wayne Turner. Turner has two fouls. His Shimu Evans has two. Just under the five minute mark here at Rupp Arena with Kentucky leading it by 19, 32 to 13. Firing away is Murray and tipped in and they'll give it to Bankston. Well, Scott says, you know, you guys hadn't scored in a while. You've been sitting on 13. I think I'll tip this one in for you. We'll spot you too. Let's go to the other end. Bankston gets credit for his second field goal. He has four points. Bankston now comes up on Padgett here. Hogan inside off the hands of McGlure. And the Wildcats turn it over for only the fifth time in the game. Tough pass for a big guy to catch right there. Ball coming right at his face. And the turnover called on Corey Williams. 12th miscue by the Tigers here in this game. Tubby Smith on the Wildcat bench. Record of 45 and 7 as Wildcat coach. That's 86 and a half percent. Not bad. Over one and a half seasons. He's done a remarkable job. Friends with a high arching three that hit the back of the rim and the Tigers rebound and they get it down court to Roberts. Roberts all the way into the lane, threw it up off the side of the backboard. Really out of control. Now Hogan at the other end. Padgett fills the lane, had it tipped away and stolen. And Roberts gets it right back. Once again, patience in the half court offensive set right there. They're just rushing things. And you can see the points produced off turnovers. There's the Wildcats. They rack up a bundle. Roberts misses from the corner, but getting the easy putback there is Corey Williams. Only his second field goal of the game. He has four. But Jamie Roberts right now is really struggling with the shot. You can just see the frustration on his face. Kentucky is really putting bodies on him and making him take tough shots. As we hit the three-minute mark, Tennessee State is pulled back to within 15. McGlure into the lane. And this one hangs on the front of the rim but drops. See how much more patient he was, though, Rob. I mean, he caught the ball that time, and instead of making a quick move, he, he, he relaxed. He now has six. Here's Bankston inside, but it won't go. Hogan rebound. Tried to get the outlet to Saul Smith, had to wait on it. Comes up to Padgett. And Padgett now will wait on his teammates. As we have just two and a half left to go here in the first half. Hogan a three, but it's short. Padgett hustling for the rebound. Corey Williams pulls it down and is fouled. And I think it'll go on Ryan Hogan. 
I think so. Ryan is really struggling right now from the perimeter. Number one on Ryan Hogan. We invite you to join us on the UK radio network for the Big Blue Line, a special edition. Coming up with head coach Hal Mummy. It'll be tomorrow night, live from Tampa, 8 o'clock Eastern time. That's the Big Blue Line with Kentucky football coach Hal Mummy and Tom Leach on the UK radio network. And as Corey Williams goes to the line, we certainly pass along the best of the Wildcats in the Outback Bowl in Tampa, Florida. I'll tell you, it is exciting. New Year's morning, 11 o'clock. Kentucky tees it up against the Nittany Lions at Penn State. Here's Saul Smith. And he's got the three-pointer. Well, that's the way he shot him against Miami. Remember, he hit those three threes here in Rupp against the Hurricanes? And you know how he got that? He got that because they reversed the basketball and they were patient and another double dribble on Tennessee State, Leon Murray. We've got it as the 13th turnover against the Tigers and it'll go right back to the Cats. Well, that last offensive series, though, was nice because they had the ball on the left side of the floor. Secondary break, reversed it. Saul steps up and hits the three. That's good patience and good ball reversal. Into the lane to Prince. Wouldn't go down, but he draws the foul. Now, Tayshawn, this is, this is only the fifth time he's been to the free throw line all year long. Now, when you have a two guard that's only been to the free throw line, that tells you offensively he's not looking to score inside, that he's relying on threes. That time he made a nice hard cut. Now he's going to the line. He's got to get to the line more. Foul went on Bankston. And here's Tayshawn Prince, one for four at the strike. And he's one for five. That's just a lack of aggression on the offensive end. That's letting yourself rely on the perimeter rather than getting, he's six foot eight. He's got to get in there and mix it up. Couldn't get either one. And Tennessee State rebounds, and we're going to have another foul here on Ryan Hogan as he picks up his second, and the crowd is not in agreement. Well, they're going to get all on Ted Hillary there. That was one of those fouls where Ryan Hogan was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, here's Corey Williams. I have Tennessee State at one for three at the free throw line here tonight. The Wildcats are eight of 12. Williams can't get the front end. Ball out of bounds. It'll go to Kentucky. And Williams has missed both his foul shots. J.T. Blevins checked into the Wildcat lineup, and Hogan will sit down here. Tayshawn Prince goes out. Desmond Allison is back in. So it's Kamara, Blevins, Allison, Michael Bradley, and Saul Smith here. For the first half, Kentucky with a 20-point lead. Into the lane to Smith, and nicely off the board. Nice job of finishing right there by Saul Smith. That's been one of the problems that he's had. He did a good job of finishing it, getting it off the glass with a nice left hand. Saul has five, 39 to 17, a 22-point lead. And Jamie Roberts lost his footing but got it away. Inside, Bankston lost the handle. And the shot missed underneath but still rebounded by the Tigers. Here's Murray from outside. He gets it to go, and that's a three-pointer. Well, that was a tough three right there because he had Desmond Allison all in his face. Now the junior from Cincinnati now with four in the game. Jules Kamara with only 56 seconds on the clock. Desmond Allison here on the far side now comes to Kamara who is wide open. Bradley rebounds, had it blocked going up. Blocked by Ralph Martin. Tigers get it back now with 41 seconds on the clock. Well, and Michael's got to catch that ball right there, gather himself and explode back up to the back. Martin didn't even jump to block that shot. Jamie Roberts lost his footing. Ball picked up by Martin. Here's Corey Williams missing off the baseline, and Kamara rebound. Cats have it with 24 seconds to go. Bradley in the lane. Little runner for the big tie. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but it counts. And 11 in the game for Michael Bradley. He is the leading scorer. Clock now down to 10 seconds. 21 point Kentucky lead here as we head towards halftime. Leon Murray with Bradley on him. Tried to get it into the lane. Kamara intercepted the pass as time runs out. So we've played the first 20 minutes here at Rupp Arena. And the Wildcats with the better of it. We're at halftime. Kentucky, Tennessee State. The Wildcats 41, the Tigers 20.
that's half court execution at its best. Well, the Cats huddled around head coach Tubby Smith as we get set to start the final 20 minutes of this one. Final game of 1998. Kentucky 34 and 5 in the calendar year 1998. And with a win here tonight, we'll be 35 and 5. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tubby's going to go back with his big lineup. Now they started, but they didn't play a whole lot together. That is Bradley and McGlure. Wayne Turner, Scott Padgett, Ryan Hogan has the ball right now. Michael Bradley and Jamal McGlure. That's the lineup on the floor for the Cats. Turner. Looking for help, comes back out to Hogan. Hogan went right around Bankston and is fouled hard going in underneath. And Ryan hits the deck, but he's all right. Boy, he really was fouled hard. Tennessee State come out and looked really unorganized on the defensive end of the floor, and that's very uncharacteristic of a Frankie Allen team. And a costly fall for the Tigers here in the opening seconds of the second half as Jason Johnson picks up his fourth. Well, it's unfortunate for, for Frankie because really he's had to sit two of his better players, Jason Johnson and Brian Williams, almost the entire first half and got absolutely no production out of them as well. And it really showed on Jamie Roberts, who's their star, averaging 20 points a game. He couldn't get free. Hogan sinks both the free throws and Kentucky extends the lead out now to 23. Just underway with the second half here at Rupp Arena. Good to have you with us. Just a couple of days, two and a half days from a new year. Here's Roberts with Scott Padgett in front of him. Comes around a screen and lets it go and hits the bottom of the net. Well, that's the kind of shooting ability that he's got, Martin. He can flat out stroke at 36% from behind the arc, and he's got NBA range, as you saw him right there over Jamal McGlure. Wayne Turner coming back. Padgett had it tipped away by Corey Williams, and now... They call the foul on Scott Padgett. They sure are, and it's a good call. Scott held as Corey Williams did a good job of playing the passing lane right there. Scott Padgett held, and you can hear Tubby Smith and his staff yelling on the sideline. Cut, cut, pass the ball, reverse it. But you know what? They're just in the half-court offense. They're just out of sync right now. Watch the stagger screens right here. Roberts driving underneath. Missed the layup of the follow dunk by Jason Johnson. His second field goal. He has four. Michael Bradley right out top. Tigers now pull back to within 18. Long right and hit. Good job of catching and shooting. Coming off the screen with his shoulder square. Always doesn't get his feet under him, but he always has his shoulder square. First three-pointer of the night for sophomore Ryan Hogan. Roberts came free. He fired again but missed this time. McGlure fighting for the rebound. Johnson gets it. Jason Johnson feeds it back out. Here's Roberts again. Well, it looks like they're going to just let him fire from outside and hope that they rebound it. Well, his motto tonight, it's not how many you get, it's how many you get off. He's not shy. He wants that average. Johnson now brings it back out. Roberts down the baseline, and he draws the foul. It'll go on Michael Bradley. I sure will, and Tennessee State's come out much more aggressive, much more relaxed in the second half, and quite frankly, it's the first time Frankie Allen's really had a chance to play his best five players because of foul trouble. That foul was the first on Michael Bradley, and the second on the catch, and now getting open underneath is Corey Williams for an easy two. And there's some serious miscommunication right there, and what happens is you've got Michael Bradley playing a position that he's really not used to playing in big forward. Shimu Evans is off the bench, and he'll be in in just a moment for the Wildcats. Kentucky still leading by 19, 46-27. Padgett into the lane, put it on the floor, got it off to McGlure, and he hooks it in the basket. Scott got away with one right there. Normally, when you're down that low, you cannot put the ball on the floor without getting it stripped. Nine in the game for Jamal McGlure. Corey Williams beat Padgett, missed the reverse layup. And McGlure rebounds. Wayne Turner pushing the action all the way to the lane, off to Hogan, and they're going to get Turner with a foul. Boy, Frankie Allen holding his breath over there. He thought that may have been Brian Williams' fifth. It is number three on Wayne Turner. 
Not a, not a good decision right there, though, Rob, on Wayne Turner. You know, he there's a situation where he can pull up and shoot that little 15 to 10-foot jumper. Instead, he tried to penetrate and take it too far. Well, Ishimu Evans has checked in now, and Saul Smith into the game for the Wildcats as Padgett and McClure sit down. 48-27 Kentucky here with just under 17 minutes left to go in the game. Jamie Roberts. Ryan Williams comes back out to Bankston now. Shot clock down to 10 seconds. And they throw it away. Loose ball picked up by Hishimu Evans. Well, the Cats get it. And bring it in the front court here, leading by 21. And it tipped away, stolen. And they'll call him for the foul as he takes it all the way to the lane. Does Jamie Roberts. Well, that's just good defense right there. Jamie Roberts, although more aggressive, a little bit out of control. And that's that's the hard thing, as you see Tubby Smith right there. That's a hard thing to teach players is how to be patient on offense, yet be aggressive. Roberts picks up just his second. Here's Hogan open, and he will fire it. And he's got another three, second of the night for Ryan Hogan. Both of them coming here in the second half. And 10 in the game now for the sophomore out of Deerfield, Illinois. It's a good job right there by Hishibu Evans. Instead of being impatient with the ball on the wing, he waits for Ryan to make his cut. Well, Johnson got three underneath and got an easy basket. Jason Johnson has six now. Well, he's got a nice inside game. He's really strong, got a good upper body. Big guns on him. Here's Bradley now, beating off into the lane. Nice pass to Hishimu Evans, who gets the easy two and the first two of the night for move. 53-29, Kentucky. Amy Roberts trying to get a screen, comes back out now. And traveling is Brian Williams as he tries to drive the lane. Now the Tigers turn it over for the 17th time. We've got a timeout on the floor. 15.02 left to go. And Kentucky with a comfortable 53 to 29 lead. Into the paint. Good job. Is she Lou Evans cutting right there? You see Corey Williams just losing, but that's good. That's good ball movement, getting the ball into the paint. Now let's look at it from a different angle. Here's Michael Bradley down low on the block. Very patient, sees Hashimu cutting. Nice job for Moo to lay it in. Very limited action for Hashimu tonight. Jules Kamara now has checked into the Wildcat lineup as Ryan Hogan has the basketball and gives it off here to Saul Smith. Michael Bradley is in there along with Hashimu Evans. Hogan well short on that shot. Kamara the rebound. Hogan, will he fire again? No. <laughs> Shot clock now down to five. Hogan lets it fly and hits it. Ryan Hogan has stepped his game up in the second half. He's got two big threes and a nice jumper there. He's got 12 points. And he now takes over scoring honors, I believe, because Michael Bradley still has 11, had all 11 in the first half, has yet to score here in the first six minutes of the second half. Into the lane, ball tipped away by Kamara. Watch Kamara out. off to Evans and back to Kamara. <laughs> That'll get him on their feet. That's creating offense with your defense. Well, you called it, Rob. Tubby Jules Smith Kamara. made a great substitution. Scott Padgett was not able to stay with Corey Williams, so they brought Hashimu Evans, a quicker player, and put him on Corey Williams, and there's been a difference ever since. And traveling called on Corey Williams. 19th turnover, charged to Tennessee State. George Felton there on Tubby Smith's left, and Sean Finney on the right, and on the other bench. Frankie Allen, who spent a lot of seasons at Virginia Tech. The only head coach there, I believe, four seasons, but a long time assistant coach prior to that down in Blacksburg. And once again, another one of those coaches that considers Tubby Smith a close friend. He and Tubby spent a lot of time on the recruiting trails together. 
Well, that's right, Toby. Tubby, uh, went to High Point College, and uh, Frankie Allen to Roanoke. They're about the same age. Now, Sal Smith was left open, and he simply put it up and hit the shot, a three-pointer. Good to see Small Saul getting into a little rhythm there. Nice shot right there. Second three of the night for Saul Smith. The other one coming in the first half, and he now has eight in the game. Leon Murray giving off to Jamie Roberts, and Roberts now I'll try to find a screen here to shoot. Can't do it. Roberts with a shot clock at nine. Goes baseline, missed it off the board. And the rebound into the hands of Hogan. Quickly out to Saul Smith. Down court to Evans. And Hishimu fires. Two-pointer, two-pointer for Hishimu Evans. Boy, though, that's Hashimu's game right there. Getting out in transition. He's such a good spot-up shooter in transition. Much better than he is in the half-court offense. And Frankie Allen wants a 22nd. Four in the game. Now for Hashimu Evans. All coming here in the second half. And Kentucky has built it now to a 33-point lead over the Tigers of Tennessee State. It is 62 to 62-29. Let's check in for a moment here courtside with Dick Gabriel. Dick. Well, Rob, watching Frankie Allen, you guys were talking about him and the fact that this is just the second time the Cats have played Tennessee State, the first in the NCAA tournament. But Frankie Allen looked familiar to me here with Rupp Arena behind him. That's because he has coached here before when the OVC tournament was played here in Rupp Arena. His team did extremely well here. So Frankie Allen has coached in Rupp Arena before, just not against the Wildcats. Thank you, Dick. Frankie Allen's team winning consecutive OVC tournament titles in 1993 and 94. And of course, from there, went on to make appearances in the NCAA tournament where they played the Cats in 94 in St. Petersburg. Well, they had a great player on those teams, a kid by the name of Carlos Rogers that's still playing in the NBA. Yeah, big guy. Really play. Nation Prince into the Wildcat lineup now. Corey Williams dishing it back out. And from long range, Leon Murray couldn't get it to go, and Bradley with a run out at the other end, and he's fouled going up. Foul to go on Leon Murray. Saul Smith showing us a little impersonation of Tim Couch right there on the throw out, which we hope we see a lot of on New Year's Day. Oh, well, we sure do. Look at this pass, length of the court. Well, you know what was nice about that? He caught it and turned in the air, and. Michael's got to finish that, though. He's 6'10", and he's got a 6'1", Leon Murray. He's got to finish that and get the three-point play. Well, Michael doing pretty well at the free throw line tonight. I've got him four for five. And as we pointed out earlier, he came in at just 42.5% on the season. Couldn't get the second one. Evans the rebound. Saul Smith able to retrieve it. And with 11.41 left in the game, Kentucky leads 63 to 29, and the Cats turn it over. Time out on the court. We've still got 11.40 left to play. It's all Kentucky here in Rupp Arena. The Wildcats leading Tennessee State 63 to 29. Range now up to 40% at 6 of 15. And credit that to Ryan Hogan. He has really stepped it up in the second half. And the free throw shooting here tonight, Martin, is at 69% for the Cats. And right now, on this possession, the defense is pretty good. Shot clock got to four, and it's missed here by Leon Murray and the Wildcats rebound. And Hishimu Evans with a layup. Well, he's at his best when he runs the floor. There may not be that anybody better in the country at running the floor than Hishimu Evans. Muna with six, all here in the second half. Corey Williams going to the baseline, brings it back out now, looks into the lane, feeds it down low, ball's knocked out of bounds, no. Ralph Martin just lost it. And that is the 20th turnover charged to the Tigers tonight. Kentucky's half-court defense has just been too much. They won't, Tennessee State won't see anything like this in the OVC. McGlure now working against Martin. And he draws the foul. And on Ralph Martin, that'll be number two. Watch Hashimu Evans right here. Now, Tayshawn does a great job of looking ahead, but Hashimu Evans beats everybody down the floor, and he's playing small forward at the other end. Just a great job of getting out ahead of everybody. 
Kentucky right now on a 14-0 run, which has lasted over the last five and a half minutes. And Jamal McGlure adding to it with that foul shot, as he has now made four of five at the line tonight. Here comes Desmond Allison into the Wildcat lineup, and Hishimu Evans will get a rest. Kentucky now on a 15-0 run. And make it 16, as that one went off the rim, off the backboard, and down through. That's those cap rim for December. 11 in the game now for McGlure. Well, Kentucky has really shut down Brian Williams tonight. Zero points, four turnovers for their starting point guard. He has really had a rough night. Here's a steal as Tayshawn Prince comes away with it. And Jamie Roberts only has seven in this game. He came in averaging just over 20. Wayne Turner off the back of the rim, and the Tigers rebound as Corey Williams comes the other way. Boy, Wayne has still only hit one three-pointer this year, and you just wait for him to start shooting the ball better from the perimeter. And with the move underneath, Ralph Martin gets one to go. Only his second field goal, but that was a pretty good move there by the big guy. That was nice. You know, the book on him is that he makes nice, strong post moves, and he showed us a little finesse there, too. Down on the block to McGlure against Martin. Turnaround hook off the rim, and Martin rebound. That's all right, though. That's a good offensive move by Jamal McGlure because he, he paused and was patient. I got ball. <laughs> Jamal McGlure calling ball on Brian Williams and Tayshawn quickly got him to switch. Brian Williams out top comes on the near side here to Corey Williams. Jason Johnson and they simply throw it away as Corey Williams had cut to the baseline. Jason Johnson is really frustrated. You're not seeing this young man's best game because he can flat out play. You don't average 16 points in the OVC without being able to play. He has just six tonight. Came in here averaging 11 per game in the early season. 67 to 31, a 36 point Kentucky lead. Wayne Turner missing again. Prince getting the rebound. Comes back out to Allison and right back to Tayshaw. Into the lane, McGlure with a dunk. Nice ball movement right there. John Maul McGlure does a great job of pinning him on his hip, slamming it home. 13 now for McGlure. As we approach the eight-minute mark, and this one it's 69-31 Kentucky. Allison right up on Jamie Roberts. Roberts beat him to the baseline and draws the foul, driving in underneath. Boy, I thought Jamal McGlure hurt his knee then, too. He really, he takes some funny spills sometimes, but he, he's very resilient. So McGlure picks up his second. And another look at the dunk just a moment ago. Watch him right here. He does a great job. Tayshawn sees him open, but he pins him on the weak side, and boom, with the right hand, throws it home. Jamie Roberts at the line. He's got his first free throw of the night, and he now has eight points. Into the game is George Parker now, wearing number 25. He's a senior out of Memphis, Tennessee. 6'5", 180 pounds. First we've seen Parker here tonight. Roberts has got them both. Give him nine points. Parker may be the best shooter besides Jamie Roberts on this team. He can really stroke the three, so you've got to know where he is. Here they try to trap Into the lane, McGlore again. And he is earning his name jam here over the last few minutes. <laughs> you know, if it worked once, I guess it'll work again. The big fella just taking the rim down. McGlore leading all scores now with 15. Ball tipped out of bounds. It'll still belong to Tennessee State. Jam showing us a little uh, fleet feet there, too, doing a good job of getting around on defense. This one has been all Kentucky. The Wildcats led it 41-20 at halftime. They lead it right now 71-33. And Southeastern Conference play begins this weekend against Billy Donovan's Florida Gators right here in Rupp Arena. Back out it comes, and here's the shot by Parker, and he's got it. So his first one goes, and it's a three. He can stroke it. He can really shoot the three. Boy, you talk about Billy Donovan's Gators. 
you're going to see two of the best freshmen in the league in Teddy Dupay and Mike Miller. These two young men can really play. Long one by Padgett, but it wouldn't go. Ball tipped back out. Turner retrieves it. Down underneath, Page on Prince, two-handed style. Everything going right for Kentucky right now is three consecutive dunks. Give Prince seven in the game. Amy Roberts against Prince down at the other end. Here's Jason Johnson missing. The rebound tipped around and McGlure comes away with it. So the Cats have it right back. And they continue to build their lead as the clock winds down. Padgett into the lane right through the hands of McGlure, but he gets it back and he's blocked here by Martin. Rebound Kentucky. Padgett with the fake and the shot off the board and in. It doesn't always look pretty, but it sometimes gets done. Jamal McGlure right there struggling to keep the handle, but Desmond Allison keeping it alive. First points of the second half for Scott Padgett. He now has seven. 75-36. And Brian Williams from long range. He's got his first point of the night, a three-pointer. Well, I don't care who you're playing against, but you don't have a chance. Desmond Allison answering right back. How about that, professional? But you don't have a chance if your point guard can't score. And Brian Williams, that's the first three he's had on night. And Desmond Allen answers with a three. Timeout called on the court. It's a 20-second timeout with 5.49 to go. And Kentucky way up on Tennessee State, 78-39. Well, even though we're talking basketball, football fever is running high in Kentucky. And now the first ever football highlights video can be yours. All you have to do is call 1-888-720-CATS. And it's just $15.99 to relive all the record-breaking memories of the great 1998 season. Well, I know in, in both of our lifetimes, we've never talked about football in Lexington on <laughs> this late in the season. This is great. And from downtown, a long one by Jamie Roberts. His second three-pointer of the night. Give him now a dozen in the game. Kind of turned into a shootout here over the last minute and a half or so. That's the Kentucky's dunks to Tennessee. And Wayne rattles it in. They did a good job elevating on that jump shot right there. Only his second basket, Martin. Give him six on the night. All Kentucky, a 38-point lead as we approach the five-minute mark. Not a big offensive night by Wayne Turner, but I tell you what, he's done a great job defensively on both of the guards for Tennessee State. Corey Williams hits the deck. Tigers have still got it. Roberts fires, misses, but he was fouled. And scores, on Wayne Turner. scores know how to draw the foul from behind the three-point line. Nice job by Jamie Roberts right there of getting Wayne up in the air and then drawing the body contact. Foul on Turner is his fourth. And here's Roberts, the sophomore out of Albany, Georgia, at the line again. This fellow has been their leading scorer in all but one game. He was the OVC freshman of the year last season, averaging 15 per game. He now averages 20 per outing. Led the team last season in scoring, minutes played, free throw percentage, and three-point field goal percentage. Just a great all-round player for Frankie Allen, and he will, he will give Murray State a running this year for OVC. And he now has 14 points in the game. But it's all Kentucky. 4.54 left to go. Kentucky with an 80 to 44 lead. Conference game of the season for Kentucky. It's all SEC play after this. J.P. Blevins checked into the Wildcat lineup as Wayne Turner misses. Rebound underneath. Picked up by Desmond Allison. Kamara off the baseline. He's got it. Jules is really developing that nice little 10, 12 foot turnaround jump shot. He's got six now tonight. Four of them here in the second half. Roberts firing away. Kamara battling for the rebound and he pulls it down. J.P. Blevins out of Metcalf County. Try to dish it off to Michael Bradley. Bradley able to retrieve it. And underneath all alone is Allison for the lay-in. Desmond Allison with five, and the lead now is an even 40. 
Steve Masiello getting up off the Wildcat bench. He will check in here tonight. Jamie Roberts breaking every which way. Kamara with a block. And traveling called as the Wildcats begin the break. So to go right back to Tennessee State. Steve Masiello checking into the Wildcat lineup, but before he does, we get a timeout on the floor with 3.39 to go. We'll break away one more time. Kentucky leading it over Tennessee State by 40. I tell you, he's got fans everywhere. Everywhere he plays, even in the Meadowlands, they're screaming for him. Uh, Bill Kitely and I were talking about Steve the other day. You know what? This kid can play. I mean, he really understands the game of basketball. He's not a bad player for a walk-on. But a fine player in high school, and you can see that he's developed his game in the time that he's been here at Kentucky. Hishimu Evans has it tipped away, but Masiello now is able to recover. Down court to Hishimu. And Masiello right to the lane. Off by Kamara! I mean, that's a big time pass right there. So give the assist to Masiello and look at the Wildcat bench. Eight in the game now for Jules Kamara. Well, I wish you could see the on the assistant coaches right now. Kamara battling on the boards, and he pulls down another rebound. J.T. Blevins down court to Masiello. Well, it didn't take long. I give up. He needs to play 40 minutes a game. He'd average 50 a game. Unbelievable. Every time he gets in a game, he scores. Three-pointer for Masiello, and the Kentucky lead is 89-44. to 45-point lead now. Into the lane. And missing inside is Ralph Martin, but he'll be going to the line. We need to start a new category, most valuable walk-on. I, I think Mass wins it, hands down. Masiello picks up the foul. We did not see Todd Tackett, the freshman out of Paintsville, in the game tonight as he has kept the warm-up on. And there's just no place to play him right now. You've got three guards. Uh, just two. You could call Moo and Checking Desmond to play him. It's the big State guys right now. Spencer, Ralph Martin will get another free throw. Checking into the game is Harold Spencer now for TSU. What? He's a senior, six feet, 175 pounds, out of Knoxville. Well, Ralph Martin shooting his free throws at just 40%, and that one ends up on the other side of the backboard. Here's Blevins dishing back to Allison. Masiello, another long one. And Hakeemu Evans cleaning up underneath. Dina has eight points. I know how many, I, I know why Steve scored so many in high school. Crap, he shoots every time he touches it. <laughs> Only a minute 55 now left to go. Into the lane, Jason Johnson against Evans, and tipping it in is Martin. We give Martin seven now in the game. 91. Win for the 11th time, another three. This one by the freshman J.P. Blevins, his first points of the night. A little shake and bake right there by J.P. And Kentucky's going to get it back. Well, we got eight, nine three-pointers now for the Wildcats in this game. If I've got it correctly, make it only eight. Definitely shot the ball better from three-point land tonight. But once again, you got to consider the competition. And what Kentucky's got to do is when they play against teams defensively that will hold you and that are really good, such as Maryland and Duke, they've got to be patient in their offense. Moo trying to get it to Jules Kamara out of bounds. It'll still belong to the Wildcats with only a minute 23 on the clock. Cats have shot the three-pointer at 40% here tonight, 8 of 20. Tennessee State, 5 of 18. Here's Ishimu Evans. Allison reaching up for the rebound, taken away. So the Tigers get it back with just over a minute to go. They will look forward to play now in the Ohio Valley Conference. And Florida comes into Rupp Arena this weekend to challenge Kentucky in the first SEC encounter of the year. 
Got a timeout here. I don't know if this is a 20 or a full by Frankie Allen, but. Now well, the ball came right in front of the TSU bench, and Tennessee State calls a timeout with exactly one minute left, and it is a full timeout. Now we mentioned the Florida game, Martin, on January 2nd this weekend. Then it's down to South Carolina, and then to Vanderbilt. And the big one coming in here, Tennessee. Tennessee will be coming up on January the 12th. Get an opportunity here to tell you, even though we're talking basketball, football fever running high in Kentucky, and remember that highlights video, it can be yours just by calling 1-888-720-CATS. $15.99 the cost to relive all the record-breaking moments of the 1998 season. And I've got an idea, still some more to come this Friday. Down in the Outback Bowl in Tampa. A steal, Masiello off to Kamara. And Evans getting it to Desmond Allison. Everybody but J.P. Blevins touched it on that fast break. Desmond Allison has seven. You know, Rob, you can't forget last year what Billy Donovan's Gators did coming in here last year and beating Kentucky, and they've got a good team coming back. This ball tipped out and down court to Masiello. On the lob and off underneath, Allison gets another easy two. Well, they're having fun now. Desmond Allison has nine all here in the second half. The Wildcats still three points from the century mark. 50-point Kentucky lead. Ryan Williams couldn't get it to go, and Allison pulls down the rebound, and we've got only three seconds left. And there won't be another shot. Time runs out. It's all over. Tubby Smith shaking hands with Frankie Allen. Kentucky wins for the 11th time this season. Final score, Kentucky 97, Tennessee State 47. And we'll be back to wrap it up after this.